Hello and welcome back to Mochi Design. Today we are going to play with some cameras, uh, camera motions, and also with different motion tweens as well. I hope you guys will enjoy. So first I'm going to upload my characters. So we're going to go to File, Import, and we're going to want to import to the library, which makes it go onto the side here so that you it doesn't import straight to the stage which is where the actual animation is being done so we have both characters into the library and now we're going to add an, a layer to put each one of them on separate layers so here we are we're going to call it girl and oops everything's on caps locks um girl and chair and you can't put spaces on, so let me show you what it's going to show because there's spaces in this layer. It's going to say special characters are not permitted. Hit OK, and then it's going to put underscores under there. And then main. Girl. Okay, so now we have both layers and we're going to put each one um, on separate layers. So first is this one here. And now she's on that layer and we're going to hit this one here, change the layer and then add the character. Oh, there we go. So there she is. I want, um, after watching it, I want her hand to go higher up. So we'll do that. Let's click this. One at the top, click shift and click the little middle part. And we're going to have it up here. And then this as well, the same thing. Click and then shift, and then click as well. Soon I'm going to show you guys how to separate everything so you would be separating everything onto a separate layer and then connecting them all together so I feel like this looks more like a wave I think I may take some of the, them out let's remove let's remove this one so we're going to click in and then hit clear keyframe right click and then hit clear keyframe and let's see and I think I'm going to take out the last one as well and if you guys can see the difference now I feel like this has a more natural movement with more space between to say hi <laughs> um, and so let's go back Now we need a background. So I'm gonna get a background here. And so now um, I'm going to add the background layers already in the library, the background. So we just make sure we're back out of the characters information and back onto scene one. And so let's go back to the beginning and then add this layer. Bring it to the bat the bottom so that it is shown behind everything. And then call it background. And drag it in and see how big it's gonna be. Pretty big. <laughs> As usual. Okay. So they're in some type of office area, it's looking like. And that's what it looks like clipped off. And this is what the full video looks like so far. And so we're going to change 3D rotation tool to 3D translation tool. And now we're at the first frame. So, okay, let me bring movie clip. And so we're going to make her smaller 
So we're gonna make it like this. And then she's just gonna get closer and closer. In fact, the quicker way would be to add a motion tween. Create motion tween. Create motion tween. And then we'll have her up closer. Like that. Oh, that's too, too big. She's not even in frame now. And so this is what it's looking like. So this part, she goes back. So we need her to actually be just as close. Oh, this instance is shown. Okay. So it's and get closer and then closer up. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to do control test. So that's what it's actually looking like, even though when we look at it here and you hit play, it's not showing some of the movements, the frame by frame part. But once you actually make the video, it's going to show the actual um, waving part. I also want her eyes to move. So we're going to go into the instance again. And right on the next one, about right there. Oop. Okay, so we want the eye to move so she's looking at her here. And then let's get her stars back. So let's play this back. Okay, so the eyes kind of so let uh so we're gonna make a smaller movement like right there, okay, and then once it gets here at the end, then it's gonna be completely over. So it'll be like this. Let me see here. Eyes look a little. You see what her eyes are doing at this point? It's like. Ooh. So that's okay. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. And we're going to test. Eyes just look a little weird to me. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you're going for. Maybe because it doesn't stop at the end, you know? And so now we're going to work with the camera. So that's this here. Camera here. And so when you use the camera, there's going to be a layer at the top here. And at that time, you aren't able to change anything while that layer is there. So, and you can also do a motion tween. So if you wanted to slowly zoom in. So here, I want this zoomed in. And then we move it. The way that you move the camera is as if it is a camera. So we're gonna have it like this. And then, so we're gonna put in a motion tween about midway like this so so far hmm. 
this does something. Where she just kind of pops. So at this point, let's add a frame that's really close to her face. Like that. But then it zooms back out to show her. And then at the end, we're going to end up over here where she is not happy. <laughs> so we're going to have it kind of on the side like that. Remove this. Let me save. This is important. Um, and then we're going to test this and hopefully it comes out good. If not, we'll make some changes. Okay, so it's not showing the camera. Let me see here. So here's something else you can do with the camera. You can rotate. So let's say I want it like this. Um, but it's the motion tween. So motion tween, it, it fills in the empty spots where you don't have a keyframe. So let's say we want it going that way by the end. So there's a lot going on in these few seconds. <laughs> um, so we are going to test it and see what it's looking like. Kinda crazy. I think we need longer. I'm just gonna do one thing. Okay, so we're just going to test it. <laughs> there we are um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe for more I will be doing daily uploads and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day today bye